Today's game is called Striker Ball. With Striker Ball, level one, you'll be able to slap the ball, but you cannot slap it to the person on your left or the person on the right. If the ball goes to the person on the left or on the person right, you cannot get any points that way, okay? So when you have the ball, you can slap it though to all the people that are across from you. If, for example, you sla slap the ball to this person that's across from you, and it goes in front of them and they stop it, you are not awarded a point. However, if it does go past the person, then you do get one point. So, this is how you get points in Striker Ball. Now, level two, we'll add two of the balls in there. Now, remember, you are going to slap the ball. You're not going to punch it because you can hurt yourself doing that. And you're going to always be doing this across from you. Now, with level two, it's a little bit more complicated because there are more objects going. So make sure that when you are playing that you are having your eye on the ball so it doesn't go past you. Remember, that is how you get points in level two. Now level three is different. Level three, we will add a person in the middle. Now this is one of the most fun levels because the person in the middle can actually get hit by the ball and they can also dodge the ball. So if you do get hit by the ball, unfortunately, you do have to go and get your spot taken from the person who hit you. So this person's gonna raise their hand, they're gonna go up to the person and tell them where to go. Cause you can't just go to any spot that you want. You have to go to the spot where the person that hit you. So once you go there, then you can keep on playing and try to slap the ball at the new person that's in the middle. Now level four is very similar, but we just added one more ball. Again, you can go ahead and try to slap the ball and see if you can hit the person in the middle. If you want, you can dodge, hopefully you dodge it, and then the ball keeps on going and you just continue to play. But in fact, remember, if you do get hit by the ball, then you need to get replaced by the person who hits you. And this is why it's important to raise your hand so that the person knows where to go and so that you can keep on playing. Now this level gets a little trickier because there are two balls to dodge. Last level uh, is level five, and this is a normal setup for all levels one through four. And level five, we have three people to start out in the middle, and they will have to dodge from everyone else that's playing. And with the ball, you need to make sure that you're keeping your eyes on all the balls, but it's very hard to do. And so with that being said, is sometimes you'll get hit from behind, and that's why it's important for you to raise your hand, run up to the person, and tell them where to go because they cannot just go anywhere. Once you tell them where to go, they can take the ball with them and they can go back to their spot. And this is level five. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know.